All right, it's time for another Affinity Photo tutorial. Today we're going to go over how to make custom speech balloons and thought balloons that are fully editable with no custom brushes needed. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's get rid of some of this stuff here. All right, so for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to leave our characters up there and the actual text that we're going to use. Now normally what you would do is you would download some uh, text balloons, brushes, and then go about trying to resize them or whatever, but sometimes you have complex text like this where you have the person saying two things and you want to connect them. You may want a different color in the background. So this is probably one of the easiest ways that you can go back and change things. You can move text around. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create an empty layer. And then we're going to put that empty layer into its own group. And then we'll open up that group. And the very first thing we're going to do is go to that empty pixel layer. And we're going to go to Layer Effects. And we are going to add an outline. And we'll make the radius on that for right now, just so we can tell. Uh, let's just make it one pixel to the outside. And we'll close. All right, so now if we paint inside of this layer, with white and a brush. And right now my brush is, the flow is 100%, the hardness is 100%. So let's get this top portion here. We want to create a bubble around this. All we have to do is paint it on. And you'll see right away when you paint it on, you're getting that black outline. Okay. And this is kind of a little bit of a, a glitch in, uh, in Affinity Photo. It will kind of blink on and off for a while. So we'll just rough it out like that. And then we'll go ahead and this is also another part of that same dialogue. So we'll go to that. And then we'll just make our brush size a little bit smaller. And we'll connect these two like that. And then what we can do is make it even a little bit smaller here and create a little tail. And if we want it sharper, we can just grab the eraser tool and come over here size it down a little bit and sharpen up our there. If we don't like the shape of this at any time, we can change it if we want to add to it and make it like uh, bubblier, rounder. You know, we can come in here and like pop some shape into it. And we'll Z out of that. And then what we can do is once we're happy with that one, we want to do this guy right here. So what we'll do is keep it separate. Let's Command J and duplicate that group. And then we'll come down here and we'll take this layer and we're just going to erase and we'll move it over. Let's move it over real quick so we can see what we've got here. We'll get the eraser tool, make it real big, and we're just going to get rid of all this for right now. And again, since it's on its own layer, we can't hurt anything. And now that we're working with this layer, we can come back, paint with white, and like on this one, I am going to make it a thought balloon. So I'm just going to kind of do this, and then we'll just kind of pop it around, and then we'll kind of extend it down here. And what's nice about this, since it's on its own separate layer, we can come in here to the layer effects of that one. And if we want to change um, the color, of, we can just add in a color overlay and make it like a yellow so we can differentiate between the two. And if we're looking at it and say, okay, it's a little bit too big, again, we can come in here and get the eraser, kind of clean it up a little bit. I mean, it's completely editable. You can do whatever you want. And that's as easy as it gets. So if you decide to move your text or move your characters, rather than have to rearrange everything. It's a very quick way to do this. And what's really cool about this is at the end, let's say you like this. Let's say that's, that's the style that you want. You can come over here to styles and hit this little hamburger menu up here and say, add style from selection. And so you can see it created style number 12 here. And then we can right click on that and rename it. And we can just call this yellow speech balloon. And now, if we want, we can just paint on some uh, 
some text and add that to it and it automatically does it so you don't have to recreate the layer effects every time. So that was a really quick one. If you learned anything from this or if you liked it, please drop me a like or think about subscribing to get more videos like this. And until later, peace. Bye.